Hey guys, my name is Chris Pratt and today we are going back into the Quali Pops vault and I'm fishing out some footage that I forgot I had. So today we're creating a skull cake, a rainbow skull cake, a rainbow mohawk skull cake. Uh, hold on, there's one more. A rainbow mohawk silver crying skull cake. How could I forget about this cake? It looks fantastic, so let's get started. Now to create this cake, I am starting with my skull cake pan. When you take the cakes out, it pretty much eliminates like 90% of the carving that I would have had to do if I just used a regular pan. You glue the cakes together with some icing, and then you add some icing all over the cake. It's really hard to cover this cake with icing because there's so many like different grooves and crevices and stuff. I think I always start out with a spatula. Then I just move on to adding icing onto my hands and just getting into all those crevices. It saves you so much time when you just use your hands. I wanted to create all of his teeth with fondant which is why I'm carving this just a little bit. So that I have a gap between the bottom and the top of the skull. I gave this cake a really thick crumb coat. It's not a full coat, kind of like a fix it coat, but there's nothing to fix really. And I wet my hand with a little bit of water and just worked it all the way around the cake so I could smoothen out all the icing. Now this cake went into the fridge for about 30 minutes. Now if you like skull cakes and you like these types of videos, make sure you hit that like button. It helps me understand and know what kind of content I should be producing. Actually, and let me know in the comments, like what part of this did you like? Did you like the rainbow? Did you like the skull cake? Would you just like me to make more mohawks? That's also a possibility. I'll definitely be happy to make more mohawks. And I took it out and then I added a layer of white fondant. Yeah, skull cakes are really hard to cover, usually. But it's pretty easy to cover with white fondant. When I've covered other skull cakes, the fondant like cracks or it like, I don't know, it puckers so much more. I think that the food coloring affects the consistency of the fondant, that's why it happened. There was one cake in particular that just was, it was terrible. Pirates of the Caribbean skull cake. I was able to hide it so well, you can't tell when you watch the video. It cracked so many different places that I was scared that I was going to have to redo the entire video. But like I said, I was able to hide all of my mistakes and I was able to create a pretty nice piece. Gold detail on this cake is outstanding, so if you're interested in seeing something amazing, go check that video out. Now using fondant tools, I started to create my skull shape. Now I was kind of going for a realistic skull. You can totally go for like a kawaii skull look, um, but I wanted this to look realistic, like a human skull of a guy named Alberto who lived a very, very fulfilling life. And this skull is his legacy. So I added a lot of texture. Now one of the hardest parts about this cake was creating all of the feathers for the mohawk. Now for the smaller feathers, I added some wires to the middle just so that they would stand and I can plunge the rest of the wire into the cake. For the larger feathers, um, I opted for dowels because I wasn't sure that the wires would be held up properly if I just used them. I'm using a fondant mold to create the texture and I just repeated that process a million times, probably like a hundred billion times to get all of my rainbow colors and all of the colors in different sizes as well. Then I moved on to his teeth. I'm just using very small pieces of white fondant and adding texture to them so that they look like teeth, like Instagram model teeth. Yeah. Like super perfect? How is that even possible? I don't know, my teeth are not that perfect, but this guy, this guy was in a Colgate commercial, I'm sure. You are a dentist, dream. You could sell a ton of toothpaste with that grill. Gave this skull a lot of imperfections and I wanted to highlight all of them. So I'm using a little bit of diluted black food coloring and some magic sauce. I'm just working it into all of the grooves and then adding some black magic sauce to his eyes and his nose. And also in between his teeth so that this skull looks hollow. As opposed to having a lot of cake in the middle. Now I wanted the feather mohawk to look realistic as well. So I just painted them with some magic sauce diluted black food coloring. I really don't know why I wanted him to be crying silver. 
I was kind of inspired by X-Men 2 when Wolverine kills Lady Deathstrike and she's just like crying silver. It's so sad and it's so cool. I love that scene. That battle sequence is probably my favorite X-Men battle sequence. Except for the Nightcrawler scene in the White House. Oh man. The music is perfect. The way that Nightcrawler is moving is perfect. And the fact that he was able to take down all of those people from the Secret Service is phenomenal. Now once I was finished painting on my silver, I started to add all of my feathers and give him a nice mohawk. You know, I love rainbows. I love the texture on the feathers. I love all of the colors. I'm adding some silver rock candy that I colored with luster dust just to add some texture to my skull. And I didn't think that the rainbow had enough color or it was too muted. So I painted each of the feathers and also some of the rock candy with some food coloring as well. And his grill wasn't like perfect enough so I decided to give him a gold tooth. And yo, I'm pretty sure Alberto was a rapper. Because only rappers have gold teeth, right? I don't know any non-rappers that have gold teeth. <laughs> and voila, my rainbow skull. My, hold on, I gotta, I've gotta get this name right. My rainbow mohawk, silver bl crying rainbow, wait, no, skull was complete. With a gold tooth and everything. I love the detail on this cake. Painting that extra color onto each feather made all the difference. This is a spectacular piece of art, man. And then when you cut into it, you get that really nice vanilla pink cake. Oh. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!